Overall, Europe and therefore Austria has a number of concerns. One of them is a lack of commonality amongst leaders. This may be brought on by immigration. The other is how to deal with Brussels, with Brexit, and of course, President Trump, um, I guess, maybe turning his back on old allies. Out of those three, what worries you the most? Well, uh, being responsible for trade and uh, economic affairs and also digitalization, of course, the trade topic is the one uh, which worries uh, me most and which is a challenge uh, to Europe. Uh, we have upcoming uh, Asia, China on the one hand side, and we have the US who has changed its position, has always been a long lasting uh, partner and has uh, shown that there is a change now. So this is something we really have to deal with and we have to find solutions for. Uh, Minister, how do you find solutions? Is it uh, trying to convince uh, President Trump that actually Europe should be spared? Is it uh, trying to look for trade elsewhere, maybe with Southeast Asia? Yes, exactly. One uh, solution is this have to concentrate also on new partnerships, new partnerships which are upcoming during our presidency and which I'm uh, very heavily supporting. Uh, so uh, uh, partnerships with Japan is close uh, before um, uh, the signature. And uh, we are actually talking here right. about one third of uh, uh, worldwide uh, GDP. And then it's Singapore upcoming and it's also Vietnam. We are starting discussions with New Zealand and Australia. So this is first. First uh, is also to have new partnerships. 